commemorating the 50th anniversary from the land of the hummingbird offers an insight into Peter Minshall's mass presentation that won the hearts of many in 1974. The exhibition was created by visual artist and designer Catherine Chan and co-creator Austin Fidu alongside their team. They were inspired to share this behind the scenes of his work as the public would be more familiar with Minchel for Carnival Monday and Tuesday as opposed to people who worked closely with him in studio, workshop, choreography and music who understand more on the background of the creations. The exhibition was cleverly installed at Stolmeyer's Castle, opposite the Queen's Park Savannah, a location where most of Minchel's works were showcased. It was important to stage the work here, as the format also underlines a fundamental aspect of his work, which is the circle and the line. It seemed like the only way to draw these 60, to show these 65 drawings, which when you look at it closely, he actually draws the hummingbird mass as if he's seeing it as moving frames. So you would see a repetition of drawings as if you are looking through a zoetrope. Because his drawings lent themselves to be shown as that moving series, this seemed like the perfect um, way to display the drawings. If you look at the geometry that Minchel is exploring, and this, this image illustrates it perfectly. This is almost the exact shape that we are standing in and displaying these drawings in, the circle with the break. Studying the body, Minchel then creates the technology in the form to produce movement. His main idea is that the energy of the performer is going to move from their gut out to their hands and feet and then to the tip of the costume. And this did not only happen with the hummingbird, it then happened over three decades through all the costumes, even down to something that people know more now, which is Tantan and Sagboy. The exhibition showcases this entire process of the hummingbird mass, alongside treasured notes, drawings, and a replica of the costume itself recreating his studio space and work environment to immerse viewers into the insight of how he worked in search of the perfect form. I am Gilloran Gomez, covering your creatives for TTT News.